Stefan in Bulgaria writes to me and he says, Hi, Paul. Hi, Stefan. I decided to treat myself. Good for you, sir. I like it when people treat themselves. Hey, you know what? Even though this is a lifetime, it's a journey. And the more we can treat ourselves and enjoy life along the journey, there ain't nothing better than that because you never know, right? Right, okay. I decided to treat myself to a nice set of desk-mounted speakers and a big, low-reaching subwoofer that I built myself with help from you. Well, cool. Nice. Good for you. After mounting the speakers at ear level with a bit of turn-in and rearranging the room to find a good layout for the subwoofer, I am blown away by the sound quality a noob <laughs> like me can achieve with the help from a pro like you. Oh, gosh. So, thanks for that. However, I never got to nail the focused central voice image you always talk about. It seems to me that voice comes from a very wide area between my speakers. Is this a limit of small room audio or having the speakers? So, sorry. Oh, not having the speakers. So, okay. Again, so hard, and I apologize for this. I'm asked all the time to answer someone's question, which I could solve in three and a half microseconds if I was standing there because it would be obvious to me what's going on. I can just give you a guess, okay? You probably need the speakers, especially in a near field situation, and probably the speakers that you have to unfortunately be kind of far apart and really towed in, okay? Desktop speakers in general, unless you really did some research, are designed to be on-axis devices. And off-axis is probably pretty narrow and probably pretty limited. So when we design loudspeakers, whether they, we don't make any desktops, but if, you know, the, Chris is working on a pair of FR5s right now, probably about that big, would work great on a desk but they are designed to be stand-mounted speakers, he pays great attention to the off-axis response. And he, he does these, these great graphs where you can see, it looks like a, a thermal graph that, that goes through, and we can see how narrow and wide and even the response is off-axis, meaning when the speaker is not pointed at you and you get off-axis from the speaker. Many, many speakers. I would say the vast majority of it, of them, have pretty poor off-axis response. They roll off or they're uneven in their response as you get away from directly on axis. And that, my guess, is that's likely what's happening to you. Now, the reason we like off-axis response to be so smooth is because then we can place the speakers on a desk, on stands, wherever, point them directly at us and just have a little bit of toe-in like I always recommend because that way you get a great center image and you get this huge sound field that goes behind the speakers and beyond it. And that's likely what you're missing. So my guess is your speakers don't have very good off-axis response. That limits you then to putting them as far wide, maybe even taking them off the desk and putting them on a pair of stands pulling them far apart and pointing them at your ears, like headphones. Now what that'll do is give you a great center image, a great set of depth, but it'll be trapped between those speakers. Like in our setup, it extends beyond the speakers and behind the speakers. The speakers just disappear. Yours will disappear, but the sound will only come from the middle area, but you'll get a great center image. It's a trade-off. So you can either get a new pair of speakers and make sure they have great off-axis response or stick with what you have, pull them apart, and point them at your ears. And I bet that'll fix it. Okay? Thanks for the question and good luck. Bye.